Hello everyone and welcome back to more Spyro 3, You of the Dragon Blind, and in this episode we're going to be going on to the next level in the game, or at least stage I believe, which is Dino Mines, the last level that's pretty much just a run around Spyro level with minigames and stuff, because after that it's a speedway and a boss. So, let's just get on with it shall we, and we're at 91%, now that is a satisfying number to reach so far. Also, there's something unnoticed in my spare time. So, um, before I said, is there a way where I could quickly look at, you know, uh, what numbers there are, in other words, how many eggs I've got in each world, instead of scrolling through the pages? Yes. And that's by clicking on the actual world. It, li it links me to the page. It's a shortcut. I never knew that. And this is episode, what, 43? It took me that long to realise it as well. I'm so stupid. Oh, boy. Still, oh my goodness me. And it's the music from Molten Crater, I believe. Yeah, I believe it is actually, because uh, Molten Crater's song is like one of my favorites, but my favorite for some reason, I don't know why, is Spooky Swamp. I don't know why, it's just, it's just cool. <laughs> it's kind of funky in a way if you ask me, but still. Also, wow, so many gunshots and stuff like that. It's almost like Pinstripe from Crash Bandicoot. Then again, at least he's not shooting me like mad with machine gun. Because, I mean, boom, Pinstripe was like the cod addict of the 90s. <laughs> That's what I find, anyway, but still. Is there a way, though, where I can easily just get past... Oh, Am I supposed to get out like that? I don't think I am. Maybe it's that, but sure. Sorry about that, I had a bit of a problem there, but I'm back now and I completely forgot what I was talking about. Except I do realise that there was a gem there and I just collected it like that. I think I'm supposed to run around the outside, I think, maybe? At least I'm not sure. Either way, this guy is annoying me, so I'm gonna burn him. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I see. Also, I have to go around there in order to find my way around, right? Well, so you're locked up. How come? Well, gosh darn it, Spyro! I came in here to check on my prisoner, only to find out he'd somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them rowdy dinosaurs went and locked me in. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble, and there's not a thing I can do about it. Dinosaurs in a western world. Well, fancy that. <laughs> but don't worry, I can rescue, because I am Spyro the Dragon, and I've pretty much rescued everybody so far. Also, what does that wanted sign say? Let me just have a look at that. Oh, right, it's just a picture of a person. I thought it would be like a reference or something, like... Reference Bandicoot Pursuit or something like that, you know? <laughs> oh man! Unless, hey, wait a minute, can I actually make it like this? Let me give us a go. Oh, I can! I see, and there's an egg behind you too, which is Dan! Except he's not on fire. <laughs> oh, boy. Why do I always say that? Just any time I know, I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> also, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The cactuses contain gems. Okay, I need to remember that, just in case it ever comes to me finding gems around the area and stuff like that. So do not shoot guns, please. Why do they even? Why are they equipped with guns anyway? They're they're dinosaurs. They look like the exact dinosaurs uh, taken from Ripto's Rage. You know the ones that uh, pretty much just uh, shoot at you, I believe. Oh wait, no. What what do they do again? I forgot now. You have to rescue them from the cavemen before they get eaten. Uh, as far as I remember, anyway. They remind me a lot of those. But either way, we've got an egg, so that's fine by me. But this time I'm gonna watch out for that. I mean, Psychopathic dinosaur over here, which is throwing bombs like crazy. Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. In fact, um, coming to think of it, like, what Western game is there? Well, well, at least you know a game that has like a Western level. The closest one I can actually think of is um, God damn it, what's it called? Al's Penthouse from Toy Story 2, which had a Western music and a Western look and all that. And you know, it's just overall quite a fun level, actually. Al's Penthouse. A lot of people don't like it because it's so big and stuff like that, but uh, what I would say to that is, yeah, it's big, but it's, at least it's not freaking airport infiltration. I, I don't like that level in Toy Story 2. It's far too big to explore and stuff like that. I don't know. If you like it, that's fair enough, but I don't. And if I can respect your opinion, then sure you can respect mine, can't you? I swear, sometimes when I speak, I sound like blooming Jack Sparrow. <laughs> There we go. Right, okay, now I can easily just progress on with everything. I think what I'm gonna do for now, instead of charging and getting shot, is if I see a dinosaur, run into it immediately. 
and just flame it. So that way, you know, it doesn't get me in time or anything like that. Also, did I got those cactuses? I don't know if I did, but you know what? I'm gonna check just to be sure. Jesus Christ, they're, they're mad with their firecrackers, aren't they? Are they just firecrackers? Or are they just dynamite? I'm not sure, really, but they kind of make the same noises as, like, those goats. Goat guys, I think, from, um, you know, like, what was that? I can't, I don't know if it's, like, a second level or something, but it is at least in the first world in Spyro 2, which was, uh, I forgot now, Colossus. Yeah, it was Colossus, I remember that. But, uh, oh my. Also, there's a fire right here. No, no, sorry, not a fire. Extra life. It wasn't a fireplace, so that's close enough, isn't it? Plus, is that is that a pig? I think that's a, a rampaging pig that's trying to kill me. <laughs> with a machine gun. This is pretty much just a load of animals with guns and stuff trying to kill me. I, I always found it weird, though, the fact that if you ever played, like, Spyro the Dragon, the first game, the last level you went to, I think it was Twilight Hyper, uh, yeah, I think it was anyway, Twilight Harbor. The, uh, the little enemies that you defeat, I forget what they're called, actually. They might be just called Gnorks or something. Because I know the main enemy is called Gnasty Gnork. And, um, the thing I noticed is that they have, like, literally real guns. <laughs> this isn't a kid's game, you know? I mean, sure, you have real guns in most kids' games nowadays, I think. But back then, you know, it was seen as, oh my god, guns? We can't have that. And to see that it was in a Spyro game was rather strange, that's for sure. Sorry about that, uh, my controller just died for a second, and Spyro was on his own, I'm afraid. <laughs> but you know what, it actually didn't take too long to resolve that, so that's fine by me. Anyway, uh, let's see what else we've got over here. So we've got this seahorse with a... Everything just has guns. Everything just has guns and explosions, which is the idea in killing me by the looks of it. Oh my gosh. In fact, what is, um, the, is, does this place have an original soundtrack? I'm pretty sure it does, because when I was listening to, like, the soundtrack the other day of Spyro 3, the greatest hits version, I am pretty sure that Dynamines had its own original track in, uh, instead of using the same one, you know, from, uh, Molten Crater, I think. I always get mixed up. I always, sometimes I call it Magma Cone, sometimes I call it Molten Crater, you know. Also, is that an egg? It is an egg. I also collect like, two gems at the same time in the cutscene. I was going to say, is there any music at all? And I think that's the first baby dragon I've encountered that has a dummy in its mouth. So that's really cute. <laughs> it's kind of weird for me to say it like that, especially in this kind of voice as well. It's really something you'd expect, is it? I have not really kept count of my gems, but my gosh. 6,033. It's a shame it isn't over 9,000. Otherwise, that would have been a really cool reference. But I don't know, like, was that a thing? I, I can't remember when that episode of Dragon Ball Z aired. Was it was it when Spyro 3 came out? I don't know, really, because I never really watched much Dragon Ball Z, but I know of that infamous quote that Vegeta said. That's for sure, because that just became an internet meme, didn't it? I don't know if anybody uses it anymore, though, so I'm just kind of using an old meme that's boring now, probably. So do these TNTs, like, do they have... You have gems. I'm gonna avoid them for now, but try to remember to come back to them. Because uh, they might contain gems, and in this case, if I'm like, wait, where are all the gems? I'm like, oh yeah, they're in those TNTs, aren't they? That they destroyed. Well, needed to destroy, sorry. Also, is that a switch? Uh, no, it isn't. Oh boy. So I've pretty much just gone through some kind of well. I don't know, it's like based on a well, isn't it? I mean, it's, we're in like a western place, aren't we? But, oh my goodness. Guns galore! Do not fire them though, please. Plus, I swear that noise that he just made when he flipped his gun was the same... Oh, hello! It was the same uh, sound effect that... Uh, let's see, let me, <laughs> let me just talk while this guy's shooting at me, shall I? Um, the, the Chinese people, I think, <laughs> from, um Crash Bandicoot Free War. Do you know the China level is basically where you're on Pura? Uh, trying to get past it and all that. It reminds me a lot of that and death for some reason as well. Okay, is it going to put me where the egg is? Oh no, it's going to put me here. Thank you. So now, ooh, oh dear. <laughs> he just kind of fell off the edge. So that's a real shame, but oh! You just literally killed your own teammate, dude. That is not good. That is not good at all. 
It's cool though how I gotta watch out where I am though in this sort of I can't just run around and collect gems. I gotta I gotta be aware of stuff around me, man. Otherwise oh, Spyro could be shot and killed. Or at least just defeated, maybe not killed, because that would destroy childhoods. <laughs> Still. Is that those eggs he's spitting? I don't know, then it just might be seeds, maybe. Hey, just not too sure, to be honest, but so many numbers, wow. I like how the numbers pretty much just float around. You see, if you collect like a whole batch of gems, you can just run through the numbers. So it says 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 2. You know? <laughs> like, there's some kind of code or something for the internet, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! Holy cow, I did not know that I was gonna do that. Whatever. Well, I'll be. So that's how my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches and causes more trouble. I think it must have been the run of the litter, though. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure. Let's see now, though. Kiki. Kiki. Kiki, that sounds kind of cute. And it sneezes and loses its glasses. How great. Jumping Jehoshaphat! That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. Oh, even the sheriff agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool, fair enough, thank you very much. And, wow, the cage just magically goes down. Spyro logic right there. But anyway, uh, so we were up here, and... Hey, there's a secret over there, but you know I want to climb to the top of this just to see what there is, and it looks like... Oh, oh, it's a bucket, it's a bucket of water, is it? I see, so let's see what's down here. Is that it? Really? It's just gems? <laughs> really? Oh, oh no, there's a mini game there, which I don't really want to go into yet because gems, I want to get all the gems first before going on to the mini games and stuff like that. But you know something? Oh! There's Agent 9. I was, I was just about to say that, you know? <laughs> I was just literally about to say, um, Agent 9 is not used a lot. I don't know why people complain about it, really. But even still, this is on, like, the last level in the game. You know, at least the last world. And I've used them like, what, a total of three or four times, and that's it. I don't know why people love to complain about it, really. I mean, I find the dude perfectly fine myself. <laughs> Have we got time for it, though? Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, let's just go do it, shall we? And also, wow, it looks like it's set back in his lab due to the metallic, because, uh, western stuff. The sheriff promised me I could be a deputy, so I'm off to help clear out all the dinosaurs. <laughs> Alright, okay, is that what you're gonna say? Usually your dialogue is pretty long and psychopathic, so, um, it's not this time, I see. I, 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 if you just calm down for a second and stop all that whooping and hollering, I can tell you what's going on. The Bailey gang are holed up in them buildings over there. You're gonna have to just go in there and flush. And flush him out. Will do. Darn tootin'. Well, good luck to ya. Indeed. And I've probably just insulted a load of Western people there. Or Texas, I don't know. Oh my god, wow. It's on rails and it's a shooter. It's a shooter. It's an on rails shooter. Pretty much. That's not too bad, actually. I don't mind that. Oh boy. So much stuff there. And let me guess, after shooting everything, I'm gonna have to run around with it as Spyro and then find stuff. And there's probably also gonna be an egg in this bit as well, maybe hidden. So they get the feeling with this being the last level, they're gonna add like some sort of challenge. Also, I was gonna say, it's probably not worth shooting these things, because I don't look like I'm gonna collect them. I mean, given the fact that the camera keeps changing and those past few gems, I didn't actually collect. In this case, I am just literally shooting. I swear, this reticle is like the best reticle in any video game. <laughs> I have not missed much shots of this at all, really. And that's pretty much just... Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh boy. Still, I mean, like, you know, because it's like really responsive, really. I mean, this is me moving just the analog stick around in a circle right now. Look how responsive this is. This is really good, you know. I like it a lot, and I approve of it. So, wow. Ooh! <laughs> I'm having a lot of surprising moments, and there's actually a lackluster of commentary going on here, but still. Oh boy. Now, why can I imagine, like, this bit being, oh my god, in 3D? That would be really cool, I reckon, but oh my. So much dinosaurs to defeat. Actually, you know, looking at it now, it's kind of like, what if Spyro was in Jurassic Park? <laughs> 
That's what I would think anyway. Oh my god, so many of you guys. And also, is that a what? There's a red one over there. Because, I mean, you know, it makes sense. I mean, we're shooting dinosaurs pretty much, which is pretty much the story to Jurassic Park. It's been a while since I've seen that film, but what I know is that was a bloody great film back in the day. Just like seeing a park full of dinosaurs and stuff like that. And also, death! So much death. Wait, what? One extra. I have one life left. Okay, right. Is that everything? Oh, no, there's one more over there. Right before he releases his firecracker, though. Oh, really? Wow. I was doing so well as well. Okay, right. Now, I remember there was three of them so far. Yeah, it was three of them right here, which I've just completely missed. Like that. There we go. Fine. <clears throat> All right. Now that I'm back where I am, I can actually concentrate on what the hell I was doing. Because um, there was like a whole bunch of dinosaurs that I was just trying to get. But it wouldn't work for me for some reason. And I just died, pretty much. And that's it, really. Also, I swear that I did hit that guy with the firecracker last time, but for some reason it, it just didn't work. Maybe I didn't get him, like, at the corner or something? To be honest, I'm not sure. Like that guy up there. I see you. Is that all of them? Nope, there's even more! Wow! So much precision when it comes to shooting things and also firecrackers and death! This is actually really difficult. Except for stuff like this. Oh my god. I this bit. She... Wait, can I get him? Oh! Skill point! Haha! -ha! So that thing was for a skill point, was it? And you know what? That gave me an extra life. So that's fine. And it replenishes my health! That thing replenishes my health. Is that really... Wow! This actually helps out a ton, doesn't it? So now hopefully this time around, I can actually get through it. And it's going to be really annoying if I don't take a single hit this time. <laughs> Due to the amount of concentration that I'm putting in, you know? Like that, also, what? Why did I not get him? Seriously, I swear that I shot him that time, but it just didn't. So, sorry about that, I had a quick interruption there, but unfortunately, at a time like this, that had to happen. Also, what? I was gonna say, I was like, that can't be everything. What? I don't know why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal. Okay, he got interrupted so I can say my thing. So, really? When I did it the first time, I was pretty much virtually there to get everything, right? I don't know why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal this egg. That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it. Mm, yeah, probably. Thanks for the egg. Shara. I see. Thank you very much for that. And you know what? I might as well call this episode off here. I don't see why not. Because, I mean, we've got one more egg snap, and I don't know, like... No, the next episode isn't going to be a finale, but it might be the one after that. I'm not too sure. Just whenever it is, really. So, in the next episode of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon Blind, um, we're going to be finishing off this area. And going on to the next one, as per usual. Take care, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Spyro 3 Blind, as per usual. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Like, there's some kind of code or something for the internet. I don't know. Whoa! Holy cow, I did not know that I was gonna do that. Whatever.